we will be doing unit 2.3 connecting the dots this lesson is based on steve jobs who was an american entrepreneur business magnet inventor and industrial designer he was the chairman chief executive officer and co-founder of apple he is widely recognized as one of the pioneers of the microcomputer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s this lesson allows us to delve into the life of steve jobs who out of sheer determination and a never say die attitude fought all human obstacles to reach the pinnacle of success connecting the dots is the commencement speech given by steve jobs to the graduate students at stanford university in 2005 so children now we will read the paragraphs and understand the story today I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. Just three stories. The first story is about connecting the dots. I dropped out of Reed College from the first 6 months but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months before I really quit. Looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made i could stop taking the required classes but that didn't interest me and begin dropping in on the ones that looked interesting so the meanings are dropped out of means discontinued or left drop in means a visitor so children this lesson elaborates three stories of the life of Steve Jobs which according to him were the turning point in his life he allowed his intuition and his heart and achieved name and fame and so he advises his readers to do likewise in the first story Steve Jobs talks about his college days wherein he dropped out of his reed college just after 6 months to follow his heart and he remained a visitor to the college for 18 months until he really quit the college completely i didn't have a dorm room so i slept on the floor in friend's room I returned coke bottles for the 5 cent deposits to buy food with and I would walk 7 miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple I loved it and much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on Here's one example. Reed College offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country because I had to take a calligraphy class. I learned about serif and sans serif type faces, about what makes great typography great. So here the meanings are dorm means a large bedroom for a number of people in a hostel also called as dormitory stumble means making or make a mistake intuition means sixth sense typography means the style and appearance of the printed matter so children he didn't have a room to sleep he returned coke glass bottles 
for 5 cent. So he could buy food for himself. He walked 7 miles every Sunday night to get one good meal from the Hare Krishna temple. He says that whatever risk he took then played a very important role in shaping his future. He learned serif and sans serif type faces in a calligraphy class due to which we now have so many different font styles in our computer and mobile phones. Ten years later, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, it all came back to me and we designed it all into the map. If I had never dropped in on that course in college, the map would have never had multiple typefaces or for that matter even proportionally spaced fonts. And since Windows just copied Mac, it's likely no personal computer would have them. Of course, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college. But it was very clear looking backwards 10 years later. So in this the meanings are Mac is the Macintosh computer which is there in the picture down there. Typefaces is a particular design of type. So after 10 years when he was designing the first ever Mac computer he used all that he learned in the calligraphy classes and put it into the Mac, especially the various font styles, which he says that if he would never drop out of college, then the Mac would never get the font styles and the windows copied the font style that he had created. He further says that one can connect dots by looking into the past. It is that time when we try to shape our future for the good. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in some things, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. My second story is about love and loss. I found what I loved to do early in life was Steve Wozniak and I started Apple when I was 20. In 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company. And then I got fired. It was devastating. So the meanings are, got fired means lost the job. Devastating means causing severe shock. So, see, Steve Jobs says that you need to trust in your past that will give you a better future. He says that you need to trust in yourself and take the right decisions for your better future. And this has made a difference in Steve Jobs' life. His second story is about love and loss. This story tells us how he lost what he had made. He was fired from his own company, Apple, which he had started with Steve Wozniak in a garage and later the company went on to be a $2 billion company. He was fired because he made people work harder and was not gentle and polite as it was not in his 
nature. But something slowly began to dawn on me. I still loved what I did. And so I decided to start over. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company next, another company named Pixar, and fell in love with amazing woman who would become my wife. Pixar is now the world's most successful animation studio. Apple bought Next. I returned to Apple and the technology we developed at Next is at the heart of Apple's current renaissance and Laureen and I have a wonderful family together. So here the meanings are began to dawn on means began to become clear to. Renaissance means rebirth or revival. So here he was broken after he was removed from his own company. But he took this as a lesson and began all over again with a different perspective. As he was free now and no load to take in. He felt lighter and began all over again as a beginner. He says that this bad time made him create more innovations and this phase was the most creative one in his entire life. In the next five years, he started a company called Next, which is an American computer and software company. Then he also started one more company named Pixar, which is an animation studio. Pixar is now owned by the Walt Disney Studios. There are many famous movies, animated movies from Pixar, like Toy Story, Incredibles, up, cars, etc. Later on, Steve Job also talks about the love of his life, Laureen, whom he married later on. Then Apple bought the company next and he too returned to Apple and created innovative technologies. Sometimes life hits you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. My third story is about death. After a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. My doctor advised me to go home and get my affairs in order, which is doctor's code for to prepare to die. I lived with that diagnosis all day. Later that evening, I had a biopsy. It turned out to be a very rare form of pancreatic cancer that is curable with surgery. I had the surgery and I am fine now. The meanings are, diagnosis means the identification of the nature of an illness. Biopsy means test undertaken to diagnose most types of cancer. So he says that life can give you the worst times and shocks, but one should not lose faith. He says that whatever work you do, you need to love it and enjoy it. And if you haven't found the work which you love to do, then you need to keep on searching for it and not settle down. His third story is about how he escaped the jaws of death. He was diagnosed with cancer and the doctor had advised him 
that he wouldn't be alive for long time and that he should prepare for death but then he had a biopsy then the cancer turned out to be of a rare form which could be cured with surgery this was the closet i have been to facing death and i hope it's the closest i get for a few more decades having lived through it i can now say this to you your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking don't let the noise of others opinions drown out your own inner voice and most important have the courage to follow your heart and intuition they somehow already know what you truly want to become the meanings are dogma means belief or set of beliefs held by a group of organization which others are expected to accept without argument drown out means be louder than another sound and prevent it from being heard here he says that his illness has given him a great lesson for life as he faced death from so close he realized that our time on earth is very limited and one should not waste it by living someone else's life one should not do what others tell one should do what the heart says to do one should not think what other people will say we should follow our heart and talent he says that we should not be affected by other people's opinions and we should listen to our inner voice and be louder than others one should be courageous and listen to one's own heart as the heart knows what we want in our life when i was young there was an amazing publication called the whole earth catalog in the final issue on the back cover they put a photograph of an early morning country road beneath it were the words stay hungry stay foolish it was their farewell message as they signed off i have always wished that for myself and now as you graduate to begin a new i wish that for you stay hungry stay foolish so the meanings in this passage are catalog means a complete list of items a new means in a new or different way stay hungry means always keep wanting something more something new stay foolish means always keep an open mind and never think that you know everything so here he says that when he was young he used to read an amazing publication called the whole earth catalog so when this publication came to an end in the last copy of their book in the back cover there was a village side photograph and there were some words written beneath it they were stay hungry stay foolish it means one should never settle down one should always be wanting for more and one should always keep an open mind and never think that we know everything so steve jobs always wished these lines for his own life and he has lived up to these lines as he has created so many different things and contributed 
to the world. He further says in his speech to the graduate students that as they are going to begin a new life, they should also live up to these lines. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Okay children, with this we have completed with this lesson. Thank you for listening children. Take care.